This is your tutorial for your crucifix flip. It gets you prepared for your crucifix drop, crucifix rollback drop. Um, this is the beginner version. And what you're going to do is open the silks after you climb, straddle back. You're going to go into your double crochet. And then you're going to cross your back twice. Cross it once, cross it twice. And then you're going to bring it to the front. Front. Make sure you get your hands in a place where you can hold it out. You're going to bring your legs out into a straddle. And then when you come forward, you hold your hands out to the side, your arms out to the side, really strong in a crucifix. You can cross your legs. I bend backwards. You can walk. You can passe with that. It's just a really beautiful pose at the end of that. When you're ready to come out of it, bring your silks together, go into a basic stand, then you want to hold the poles and come through the middle and out. And that's how you come out of your crucifix flip. This is your tutorial for your crucifix roll back drop. This is more of an intermediate drop. You want to climb at least a couple of climbs. I go pretty high when I'm climbing, so you might want to do three or four. Uh, go through the middle, straddle back, go into your double crochet again. You want to cross your back twice. See, I twisted it once, twisted it twice bring it to the front, and then you're going to climb up. And then go ahead. I like to bring my legs together. It's just pretty. And then pull as I arch backwards. And then you're going to go ahead and grab those tails off of your shoulders and hold it with the poles until you're ready to go backwards. You're going to flip back, and then you're going to flip forward holding your tail strong, your right on right hand, left on left hand, and go out into a crucifix. I have my legs crossed. I think it's pretty. You can also do a passe. You can also walk with it. It's just a really pretty drop. And I like the ending pose with it as well. Then when you're ready to come up out of it, you're going to go ahead and go into a basic stand come through the middle and that's how you get out of the crucifix rollback drop. This is your Crucifix 360 Drop tutorial. It's like your Fallen Angel or 360, but you actually have to grab the tails as you fall through the middle. So first we're going to open the silk, straddle back, then you're going to go into your cro double crochet. You want to cross your back once this time. I bring them out to the side. It looks pretty. I like to pose there. Plus it keeps you strong and it keeps you from sliding down the silks. So I'm going to um, thigh wrap on the right, thigh wrap on the left. Then I'm going to bend my legs. Make sure the silks are on back of you. You don't want them on your shoulder. You don't want to bring them up with you. Then you're going to go up into your catcher's climb. I come up, I love to bend backwards, it just is more dramatic. You want to bring your arms through the middle, getting ready to drop. Make sure you grab the silks right on right hand, left on left hand, and you have to put it out to the sides strong like in a crucifix. 
to hold yourself. You don't want to be flimsy right there because you want to have a really strong pose at the end. You can cross your legs, you can walk with it, you can passe. It's just a really beautiful drop and it is scary for the first time so sometimes people will just climb it through or they'll grab the silks, the right and the right hand, the left and the left hand and then fall because it's hard to because you as you're going through you have to actually grab it. So when I'm coming out of it I like to swing and I catch my right foot on there and this is your inverted dragonfly or you can do a bird cage on there and then come back around go into your basic stand and come off This is your tutorial of your knee drop into your Crucifix 360 drop. This is more intermediate, advanced. It's a double drop. You want to go ahead and open up your silks and you are going to come through the middle, straddle back. You're going to go ahead and crochet again and then cross your back once this time. You want your arms strong out to the side because you don't want to slide down. You're going to thigh wrap on the right. Then you're going to go ahead and thigh wrap on the left. And again, you want your silks in back. Bend your legs. The silks in back of you, you don't want to bring them up with you. And I go ahead and do, uh, I like to bring my legs up, point them together, and really bend arch backwards as I'm coming up. Then you're going to cross your silks in front of you and your legs have to go through the middle all the way down to where that that silk is touching right around your waist. When you're ready to drop you're going to come forward, bend your legs and it's going to drop. You'll feel it on your legs and you want to keep your legs bent when you go into the knee drop. Then you're going to climb back up into your catcher's climb. You want to bring your arms through the middle. And remember, you have to catch those tails as you're going through and put, put them strongly to the sides, as in a crucifix. You don't want to be flimsy there. You don't want to kind of fall through. It's a really beautiful drop and pretty pose. You can walk, you can cross your legs, you can passe, bend backwards. Really play with it rather than just do a drop and go on. So when you're done, let go of the tail, swing, and you can go into your bird cage to come out of it. Then come back forward, go into your basic stand, and there you have the knee drop into the Crucifix 360.